What's up guys, it's Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar Talk. Do all those things that you do to support the channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Roll that intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to Guitar Talk. Today we are looking at the Epiphone Signature Joan Jet Olympic Special in Aged White. So basically Epiphone described this as a no frills, cut down, simple rock machine based on Joan Jett's number one guitar. Checking out the specs at the body on this, it's a mahogany asymmetrical Olympic special shape aged white gloss finish which is essentially just satin you've got a power hammer pro bridge pickup wraparound tailpiece with individual saddles for intonation a single speed knob here which is a cts pot and then you've got a kill switch as well So checking out the neck on this, it's a mahogany set neck with an Indian laurel fretboard, 22 jumbo frets, dot inlays on this one. It's a 12 inch radius with a 24 and three quarter inch scale. The neck profile is described as an Olympic special neck profile, which I guess is meant to be its own thing, but it feels more like a 60s profile to me. And then the tuners on here are non-branded, so I assume they're just standard Epiphone tuners. Jumping straight into how this thing sounds, essentially it's built for stadium rock, in your face, grungy, punky, big rock sounds. That's the only way I can describe it. The Power Hammer Bridge pickup is very, very big and powerful. The clean sounds are very, very big, so I wouldn't say clean is this guitar's forte, but it does do clean sounds. If you are looking for a guitar stripped down, no frills, just to go out on stage and rock with, then this is definitely something you should consider. Build quality on this straight out of the box. Essentially, it's just a really, really well put together guitar. The fret ends have been finished really nicely, so there's no sharp fret ends there. There's no blemishes, there's no imperfections, anything like that I can see. It's a lightweight mahogany, so it's a really, really light guitar to hold. I don't have scales here, so I can't tell you exactly how much this one weighs, but let's just say you're not gonna have any trouble with this. Um, other than that, there's no bad points to the build quality of this, and especially at the price point, which I think is under 500 pounds in the UK, there is nothing to complain about here. Setup wise, it's not got a low action. It's got what I would call a medium action, which is no problem to me because I don't think this thing has been built with shredding in mind. In my mind, it's been built to run around on stage and have a great time just playing some cool riffs and just grooving away on. And it certainly does that really, really well. The intonation is in, which is all you can ask for. There's no tremor or anything to worry about. And after I gave the strings a little bit of a stretch, they seem to stay in tune really, really well. Mm. 
So as I mentioned, the guitar comes with the Epiphone Powerhammer Pro Bridge Pickup, which I think is a new pickup designed specifically for this guitar with Joan Jett. I don't know if they'll put it in other models moving forward, but essentially it's just a big, mean sounding pickup for rock that's got loads of clarity, especially when you've got the volume turned all the way up. I do find if you back the volume off a little bit that it does muddy up quite quickly as you turn the volume down. And although it does do clean, to my ear, it's a bit too big for clean. You're not getting any sort of chiminess or anything like that. But in terms of rock music and riffing away, this is a fantastic pickup. You have also got the addition here of the kill switch, which essentially, for those of you that don't know what a kill switch does, you have it switched on, the guitar has signal, you switch it off, and the guitar doesn't have signal, so you can get some cool stoppy starty sounds. Is there anything that I don't like about this or that I would change? The only thing that I can think of is I would love a coil tap on the bridge pickup so that if you wanted to do any clean stuff with it and you wanted to tame that big sound that it's got, you've got the option there. And other than that, maybe just a treble bleed on the volume control so that it doesn't muddy up so quickly when you turn the volume down. Obviously it's Joan Jett's guitar, it's a signature guitar, it's exactly what she wanted for a rock machine. That's just my little wish list. And this might have a four conductor wire on it, so it might be moddable just to add that if it's something that you wanted to do. But other than that, the guitar is absolutely awesome. Is the guitar worth the money? I think in the UK this comes in at just under 500 pounds, which with a name like Epiphone on the headstock, stripped down in this day and age is kind of what I'd expect to pay. Some of the Epiphone Les Pauls go for double what this does. So it's kind of at the right price point for what I'd expect from this brand. If you are looking for a straight up rock machine that's not taxing on the back and has been built really well, then yes, it comes with a cool padded soft case. If you are looking for bang for your buck in terms of tonal options on the guitar itself rather than having to put it through loads of different pedals and stuff to get different tones then you might want to look elsewhere but i will leave that up to you guys what you are looking for for a guitar that's just under 500 pounds So there you go, that is the Epiphone Joan Jet Olympic Special Guitar. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you digging the stripped down look? Are you digging the one pickup kind of vibe that this has got? Or is it something where you would want a little bit more? I'm really interested to know. Comment below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all those YouTube things. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.